halfway across. I don't have to search for traps and stuff anymore, right? No. It's just perceptive. Perception. You guys get around to this far, and all of a sudden the earthquake starts again. The tremors are continuing and getting even, uh, well, apparently even more violent. So, seeing that being trapped in such a small room is probably not the safest idea, and the fact that the sewers already collapsed, the team runs up the the only way of escape the staircase. Can I loot some of the pebbles by the? You can loot pebbles. There's pebbles all around a dungeon. I would like some now though, so I don't have to loot it later when we're in combat. Uh, you guys are running for your life. Well. Before with the whole five minute lo okay, loading yeah, search. How much pebbles do you want? Okay, get some pebbles. Yay. Trust me, I'm very. My guy's very paranoid and cautious. There might be a trap there. <laughs> Dunk. <laughs> okay, I think we're good. You guys go ahead. I really hope you guys. Yes. 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 No shit. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying. I tried making it easy. Yeah. Okay. So. Okay. So you guys run up the staircase, and I cautiously with, walk up the staircase because running upstairs is a bad idea. In a really long stride. Well, my guy is fucking six foot five, so. Was, so are the dragons. <laughs> so yeah, we're all like the same kind of. You know, it makes sense. And the only difference is I have a little. Just demon as up you here. Uh, exit the the last one exits exits the staircase. Uh, it, cl uh, it collapses upon itself, and you hear a large, large bang on the, you know, signifying that the basement probably collapsed on itself. What kind of bang? Like, stone bang? <laughs> the, stone on or stone metal? Thudding. Stone on stone thudding. Okay. That's good to know. Bless you. Rumbles. Anyway, um, you decide to hug the wall at least for now. I do. I do. I like how I'm protected. Thanks, guys. <laughs> <laughs> the beefiest guy I've ever. And you guys decide that after you know the adrenaline rolls, you decide to take a perception uh, to look around. So take a per uh, perception check. Four. Okay, I'm going with my passive. Me too. Fifteen. Twelve. Eleven. Twelve. Yes, minus. Oh wait, no, I don't. It's wisdom, right? So yep. it's eleven. I mean, 12. Yeah. So, yeah, 12, 12 plus 12? 15. Well, you rolled a 12, though, so yeah, it's the same thing. Yeah, 12. Well, it's a Mine's 12 15. plus the modifier. Yeah, I have a zero modifier. Yeah. Really? Ouch. <laughs> yeah. All right, let's see. What I was trying to get a look on the map, sorry. Yeah. All right. Oh, yeah, what's your roll? Oh, right. I know what you get. Eight. So yeah, my 15 passive is... This is why I've inspected a perception double one. <laughs> I seriously used my human feet just to get that skill. Okay. To, I tell you, which way is the thing facing? Alright, to... That would be west. That would be west. Alright, to your guys' west, you hear a lot of, lot of rattling. It sounds like a lot of yelling. There's a... Mm-hmm. I'm guessing there's a lot of people there. To your east, you see some, like, something glowing. Something with a, like, very unearthly glow. So... Is it just, like, the walls unglowing? The walls there's are rocks and, that are... Yeah, there, there's a, the hallway, something is glowing. Something at the end of the hallway probably is emitting the glow. Wait, so there's a hallway there? Yeah, I'm trying to, and I'll, I'll add the picture later. So. Yeah, just be like... What's autumn said us? Yeah. yeah. Okay. And, um... Opposite you is a staircase heading up tw uh, upstairs. How lit is the room? Uh, pretty well lit. The torches and stuff. The torches on the wall. are up on the wall. Um, it's not. It's uh, relatively uh, early in the night, so the torches are still burning. Okay. Giving pretty 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 well lit around the area. Looting a torch will not benefit us in any way, right? No. You can probably take it off the wall, but it's. Uh, Pretty strapped in there hard, and if you try to force it, it'll probably get a break. Okay. Okay. Hmm. So, I want you guys to roll an arcana check. Oh, that fell off. That yeah, that's an in, that's a... Okay. That's a, in. 18 plus 7. Okay. Um, that's 25. 25. Wow. 5 plus 2. <laughs> 7. 
25. <laughs> and for me, ouch, three. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm useful. Yeah. So the warlock and the paladin just get this small feeling that they shouldn't go warlord. that way. Warlord. Yeah. Or warlord, yeah. The warlord and the just uh, shouldn't feel that way. Something doesn't feel right. Which one? The warlock, the 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 oh, magical the, glowing side. The magic glowing side. The warlock recognizes it as a glow of like a like a corrupted enchantment type of glow. Um, out of the corner of the pally's eye, he sees just a little bit of a crystal, uh, like crystal fragments on the ground, and they're guessing it's something to do with that big obelisk thingy that they saw upon entering the prison. Wait, the paladin. Uh, wait, let's see. What's... Oh yeah, you, you all uh, you all have sight. So yeah, the warlock recognizes the crystals as the big little uh, the big uh, crystal that that seems to be sucking out everyone's energy. And apparently, the earthquake caused the crystal to plummet down the hall that you were in. And so while it's not affecting everywhere, it has a strong concentration of anyone who's actually near the crystal. So looting the crystal is a bad idea. Uh, unless you want a minus, like, six on all your <laughs> things, and yeah. Can I harness it with my arcana ability? Or would that just it's be... It's a pretty moved? powerful enchantment made out of the ore found under uh, winter grass. Oh. So rolling a 20 would be the only thing that might help. <laughs> and even then, that's pushing it. Yeah, you're carrying around the, you know, you're, you're going to be carrying around a debilitating crystal on you. Well, I meant do it now. Oh yeah, I can't really... What am I going to do? De-enchanted? <laughs> yeah, if you had some kind of containment, then maybe, but... Well... Whatever happened to those necklaces on those guards? Uh, upon uh, upon death, the ne the guards' necklaces. Uh, the moment that they the final breath came out, the necklace is shattered. Okay, because I just remember you never mentioned those <laughs> when we're like we want to loot the bodies, and I was just there's remembering a DC, all these. Like, there's oh, a nice. there's a DC on the reception. It's a very small thing since this necklace is uh, like really stringy, like very stringy. Yeah, yeah, but you had already mentioned it, so yeah. you okay. know about it. All right. And then he could have made an arcana check to see if he could preserve it or something. Uh, they, uh, they shatter, shatter when the guards are uh, guards die. What if it's just uh, taken off? Do they still shatter? Uh, they're made out of pretty strong material, and you'd have to go against not only strong. No, no, I mean just if the guards were to take it off. Uh, y yes, it would. Uh, it would actually for to be preserved. I want to do a history check to see if I know anything about this region and that ore. Okay. Um, I get a plus nine to it. Wait, won't the ore be nature? Uh, he's looking to the history of the thing, and it's tied to the history of the. Okay. Yeah, considering that they actually used and refined it, so I should know about that. Oh, okay. So twenty-four. Okay, so the ore found around Wintergrass is usually a nice, uh, like lime green hue. It is a. Uh, it can be. It can be enchanted and. Um, you know, molded into multiple o magical objects. You uh, by utilizing the ore, the air, the the soldiers, even though they were very outnumbered by the surrounding areas uh, that are trying to invade their country, were able to fend off large groups of numbers using the power of the magic. However, the faint purple glow that you see of the the what you call it, the enchanted crystal, is not something you actually seen before. It's probably been some kind of uh, demonic or infernal enchantment. Okay. I kind of want that to kind of take it with me, but... but <laughs> I know. I was trying to see if we could find a way to get a crystal off the guard intact. Okay, but what since kind you of said container I've never seen it before, that means I can't. So. What kind okay. of container would I need to preserve it without it um, affecting me? Yeah, me Something see. magically enchanted? For this. Can I see it? I see the item uh, I don't have an item medium. <laughs> oh. It's not on the PDF, huh? Um, that we have. It's a magical item. Yeah. You need magic to combat magic, etc., etc. Yeah. Shut up, phone. You're not welcome around hail. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Damn straight. Can I ask about the history of the prison itself? Um... How much did you roll? 
24. All right. Uh, basically, the history of this prison is that it was built way before the war started. Um, the reason that its size is so small is due to the fact that before the wars, Wintergrass really didn't have a lot of uh, a lot of what you call it conflicts, so they really wouldn't need that much uh, protection. But there was the occasional, you know, ne'er do well, you know. So they had to build somewhere. They you surrounded around the prison is an abyss that no, even with light, you don't know what's at the bottom. And the only way off is either is a uh, well rainy day game. It actually fits the area well. <laughs> is it raining outside? Um, the actually, the winter grass is actually covered in. Uh, I should have sorry. I should have answered this in the country lore. It's actually the reason why there's so much magical, uh, so much uh, magical ore is that the skies above winter grass are enchanted with. A, swirling vortex of magical energy uh, due to the this created a some kind of eternal winter for the, the land um, the snow carries down the magic uh, and when the snow melts the like even just a little the snow melts the ore seeps into the soil and eventually solidifies causing the over in over decades created a lot of a uh, created the amounts amount of ore that's in the areas itself uh, okay so if this prison isn't relatively new, do I know anything about the layout? Or at least the basic, the oh, main what, entrances and exits? What's your history plus? Plus nine. Uh, yeah, it's a uh, heat, a roll of 24. Okay. 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 I was going to say, because my history is plus seven, and yeah, I can't beat yours. <laughs> no. Wait, what, what'd you roll though? Three. A, 10. <laughs> a three? Three plus seven. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's actually, you can get a plus two to make it a 20. Uh, Wait, plus two from what? Uh, you can actually add to other people's checks. Oh. Up to four. Okay. If you roll above, if you roll a ten or higher, then you add plus two to the highest person. Oh. So I got roll or get a twenty five. So I got twenty six. Because okay. I roll a twenty four. Okay. You um you basically uh, I'm still know, helping. the only way known out of in and out of this prison by public knowledge is the drawbridge. However, there's been no explanation. There's uh, waste and garbage has never been actually transported across the drawbridge, so you're guessing there's probably another way, uh, another way out. But the he didn't sewer, take an intuition check. But uh, the the sewer system that was in the uh, that was in the basement was collapsed, and now the basement itself is collapsed. So you think that the best way to get out of here is via the drawbridge. And I think the best way out of here... And where's the drawbridge? Is the fact that we can't loot anything from below anymore. Damn you. <laughs> uh, the drawbridge... The, all, the drawbridge, drawbridge... You know it's uh, due to the fact that they escorted you through this area. Is actually to your west. Okay. So it's somewhere... It's actually very close. How many stories does this jail have? Not much. You're in here. You're in here for... Uh, day die. And... The guards don't really... No, by stories. I mean, stories. Like level. Oh, stories. I thought you meant the stories around surrounding the prison. Um, Do we know? <laughs> was, that, was, that another, is that another history check? Uh, is that a history check or a... Well, you know, you, or you know, you just assume history, you know. I think that's you know a... About, yeah, you know, just outside the... Just by outside, it has to be at least a... Yeah, I think the other thing would be a dungeoneering check. Yeah. To know the insides of... Yeah. Um, from the outside, you're able to discern that it's at least four stories tall. Unless you had the architectural time. But consi considering what the fall that you guys tear. took and, you know, where the cultists uh, unwittingly saved you, um, <laughs> you're guessing that uh, it's probably a lot deeper than it uh, than it shows. You were, you can't, the, there's more to the prison. Sadly, the gigantic shar uh, shar uh, the remains of the, the crystal kind of impede the path. Yeah, let's, let's call that the crystal. <laughs> it's full of crystal stuff, and it has a giant do not walk this way. So, uh, <laughs> yeah, I, I didn't quite catch. Did you say how many stories tall it was from the ground At level? least four. Um, that's all you could discern. Yeah, all that's right. all I can and discern we're... just based off like the towers that you could see. It's probably maybe right, a little right, bit shorter right. than the towers are longer, you know. The walls go at least two stories high. Okay, I personally say we should go up the stairs. Uh, there's stairs? Yeah, yeah. I, you said there's stairs. I, I forgot to draw on that, sorry. Oh, okay. Because that was a perception thingy. <laughs> Is it another uh, stairwell? Stairwell going, yeah, going up. Going up. 
Okay. That's a lot better looking. <laughs> Meh. A better line. It's, it's I. <laughs> okay. So. Now what? <sighs> so, where do you guys. Uh, the pilot and asked what, uh, what our course of action will be. How about you don't die this time? Paladin agrees. That's sh that he does not want to die this day. <laughs> He's wrongfully imprisoned and really does not want to uh, <laughs> die with a you know that yeah. kind of yeah. Okay, so All right, so uh, we hear uh, talking and there's stuff. There's talking in this like really loud shouting and like rabble, 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 rabble. I think someone with a good perception should check. Perception. Preferably someone with also a good sneak, so they can. Uh, you want to switch places? I think we should switch places. All right. So what do you think of so far? I think we're gonna get uh, right now. All right. Sneak I'm check. gonna do a sneak and then thirteen plus zero. Um, you make a little bit of noise, uh, but as you. Uh, but, but over the shouting, and they but over the shouting, you can't. They're not able to discern. You look out slightly. <laughs> oh, and I thought I was bad with the cutscenes. <laughs> Sorry, I can't really do. Should the... I do a perception? Do a perception. Damn it, plate. And just go to the. It's the same. Fifteen. Okay, that actually passes. You're, you're, you have a really, really high perception. I spec for it for a reason. Okay, uh, let me get... Do we hear anything coming up this, from the stairwell? Or that, coming down? That's what the perception oh. would be. Okay. Uh, the stairwell... Uh, Dude, seems, below seems us quiet. is... <laughs> you know, it collapsed. <laughs> there's... Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah there's crystals, like, shards over here. Yes. You guys, for some reason, really want that. By the way, they're radiating an aura that anywhere along this uh, this line will take a... Uh, I have a feeling that... Three to <laughs> the only problem, I really want them... And it'd be like, okay, when we're done with the dungeon, come back for him. But I know that this place is gonna like explode or something, like <laughs> <laughs> because it's continuously degrading. Yeah, yeah, like, the earthquake. You know, but damn, earthquake. Earthquake. I know. Yeah, I'm I sorry. won't be able to tell you more, but uh, <laughs> yeah, your rolls have been kind. Of <laughs> Dude, for I can I rolled like what twenty six or something? No, I mean downstairs where the oh. circle was. Those are sure runes. <laughs> oh, damn. Roll the three. Those were what? Runs? Well, we could have stayed and took more perception checks or something. Well, you, can only, you, uh, you can't or, make another roll unless the, again... Uh, it depends. The circumstances change. And I open the door. No, no, it depends on which roll. Because uh, some things you can just scrutinize hmm, endlessly. and take a ten. Okay, basically, let's see. You can't see these walls over here, of course, if they see how far they go. But you know that it ends somewhere around here. And it goes around to around here. And you, around you, you see... I can't make that up. Ah, sorry, my pen's kind of... I'll uh, use the thicker pen. Or if you want, use the red, because this... Or use this. Use, it draws red. Okay, there's pens, gotcha. This seems a lot better. Yeah, I love that pen. Too bad it's red. Okay. You see that the, the hallway somehow ends over here. It's a very, very short hallway. It's just more of a passageway, if anything. Yeah. And over the way, you see... More fisticuffs. Hey, it's those guys again. <laughs> you see a bunch of uh, a bunch of escaped prisoners trying to break down the wall. Um, not really, uh, not the wall, the drawbridge. The apparent leader is trying to somehow work with the mechanisms of the drawbridge. By the way, it's these four right here. Or right, these four. What is drawbridge? Sorry, I'm trying to trying to draw around Mr. Fisty over here. Let me take them off. The drawbridge is these right here. Sorry, these three. Sorry. Oh fuck. <laughs> no, just take a pen, the black pen, and <laughs> right over it. And do the wall. Um. So there is a loop. Are the prisoners bad people who want to hurt us? Uh, they've been in prison here for a long time under the effects of the crystal and sort of kind deranged. of a little bit deranged and a little bit yeah. I have a good feeling about this fight. <laughs> the due to long apparent uh, long exposure to the crystal has made them go insane. Got it. Yeah. 
<laughs> yeah. But then how are they working together? They're not. They're, they're pounding on the thing while they're like... They're like well, mindless zombies. They said the leader, so I thought they were organized. The, well, the guy who... who the, oh. the apparently tough one. Who yeah. will probably kick our ass. It probably is not a minion. It's trying bigger. to work with the the drawbridge mechanism to try to lower it. It seems to have no success. Uh, okay, so, yeah. I, I take reasoning with them would not be a good idea. To, that is to go upstairs. Uh... Reason reasonably, no. You probably uh, yeah. Upstairs is another path, and isn't this the door out? Yes. As in anything above it, we would fall out the building. No, the upstairs seems to be intact. We could no. find a window, and I could try to lower you guys down with the rope. What I mean is, from up there, it's not like we can just jump down. Is what I'm getting at. No. Oh yeah. Oh, on our way in was the drawbridge. What was? The drawbridge over. Yeah, what was uh, the I explained it. It was a, over an abyss that you can't even see down. So uh, lowering us down with the rope is a bad idea, am I right? Yes. But is there a is is like the between the castle and the actual floor? Like is it sheer? There's no lip or anything. Uh, it's no pretty sheer. Yeah, it's pretty sheer. <laughs> so there's no ledge for you to stand on. No, they down. built this castle pretty well, even though they didn't only use it for certain cases. Yeah. Also, you're asking questions that you would normally need to roll for and actually be there to see. Okay, Just, sorry. So. Yeah. Remember, DM, you're not supposed to spoil too much stuff. Well, yeah, that's true, but... Yeah, you guys you guys seen a lot of the scene stuff while you were in the carriage. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, but we all have, like, zero dungeoneering, so it's not like we it's can... It's not dungeon, it's just the outside of the thing. It's perception. You have that, and, you know... Dungeon yeah, but we is. can't see the outside of the sheer lip of the floor from the outside. I'm sorry, our point of view would not allow that. Uh, okay. Maybe if we reflected light off the sun, <laughs> but I'm pretty sure that requires a higher check than we can do. Okay, so what are you guys planning? There's more pizza over here, guys, if you want some. You know. Yes, thank you. Let's see. I would like to try and uh, sneak across to the other side of the wall. Okay. Would that need another sneak check? Uh, or continue with the other one? That would need another sneak check, yeah. This is just a check around here. Three plus zero. Splish, splish, splish. <laughs> you try to sneak past one square, and you get you successfully do that. But as you hear, suddenly one of the guys hears something out of the mist and turns around. <laughs> that was at least ten. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> oh, by the way, Dungeoneering says it goes oh for underground. Oh my gosh! How oh, just underground. Yeah. yeah. So we're actually above ground now. It's kind of yeah. You're so racist. He yells very he angrily, just... causing everyone to turn around as well. This was probably a bad idea. <laughs> Can I at least continue walking, or is that going to be part of the whole battle? Uh, right now I'd say roll initiative. <laughs> You're welcome. Roll initiative for the monsters. Six. Plus two. Six plus two. And John's going to roll a 19, a 20, a 17, a 17, and a 15. And a one. I rolled an 11 plus 1, 12. Hold on, I gotta let me finish up these rolls. We're going last again, I know. I no, I'm going last. No, actually, okay, what did you guys roll? Group. I rolled a 6, he rolled an 11, plus 2 to me, plus 1 to him. Yeah, so. So 8 and 12. 8 and 12? Do you want right, me to roll and, for you? Uh, let me roll. Okay. 16. 16 okay. plus 2, 18. Um, Can I be like I am totally one of you guys with my bluff, or would that be uh, <laughs> that be silly? <laughs> yeah, it'd probably be silly. Bastards. Let's see. Let me just get everything set up for quick. And yeah, okay. Yeah. We're... All right. So apparently, I'm going first. Nice. Possible to 12, right? Yeah. Okay. Cool. I go first then. What should I do? Um, probably stand here. Wait, here. You can stand right here. Okay, you stand here, Oswin stand there. Yeah. We'll that, hold the line. That way they can't surround you, but... And... I'll Actually, take, if anything... I'll take no other move and it's Oswin's turn. Actually, no. Wait. Hmm. Yeah, you might want to 
use our only choke point to its advantage. Yeah, unlike last time, where <laughs> we went in front of the choke point and John nearly died three times. Yeah, I'm no. smarter this time. Yeah, yeah, but I'm wondering if I should go where next to you, so no one has an advantage that way, or next to Joe, and that way we'd get combat advantage if they try to get combat advantage on you. I rather them not have combat advantage. On yeah, this considering game. how fast J John falls down. Yeah. Hey. <laughs> Dude, I'm sorry, you have awesome AC, but they have awesome rolls, and your HP is... Yeah. Yeah, and then I don't make any more. Okay, next roll. Uh, the one working on the mechanisms tells everyone to uh, keep us busy while uh, he works on the thing. So they are orderly to some extent yeah. with themselves, but yeah. not with us. No. I think they recognize you as one of the guards. Me? I'm these, pretty these sure. Guys. I'm pretty sure I'm distinctive enough to not be confused. They're pretty crazy. <laughs> That's horrible, dude. I have a demon thing coming out of the side of my back. They're pretty crazy, and they think you're a threat too because you have a crazy demon thing coming out of the side of my back. But he's so happy. He has a smiley face his, and everything. By his commanding roar, everyone mo uh, is able to take move two move squares. So they're gonna advance a little bit. Oh, but I wanted to use my skill first. <laughs> okay. And Joe, it's your turn. By the way, passive insight roll of fifteen. Can I judge their intentions if they want to hurt us? They want to hurt you. Okay. Really bad. And that at least the ones charging you. The one, the one seeing the, the working on the. Th he seems more intense on uh, getting that open. Okay, I would like to use Warlock's Curse, which would be on this guy. Okay. I would like to use, uh, let's see. Yeah, oh, these guys are it? pretty uh, angry at you, and they're also from years and years of crystal exposure. Yeah. I would like to use Dire Radiance. It's 1d6 constitution damage of radiant damage versus, to, uh, versus fortitude. And if they get any closer to me on their turn, then they uh, take another 1d6. Okay. 18 plus... Four. They hit. So. On that one. Yep. And uh, by your radiant call, he uh, falls. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I get a what you call it four HP. Yep. Okay. So uh, my turn is when with a free action. I would like to say sorry. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I like our maps. <laughs> See, told you this was an awesome idea. <laughs> yeah. All right. Next one, the lackey. The the boss's lackeys start to move toward you. Say what? I got oh. meat shields. And Wait, the most okay, HP oh, in the group again. Got, uh, got this kind of mixed up. Oh no. With another free action. <laughs> Your loot looks sweet and precious. I must have it. <laughs> That's totally kidding. I'm, I'm not doing that. My character would... Uh... Okay, sorry. I got the card mixed up. All right. Want me to take care of this plate, dude? Oh. Um, or do you want more pizza? Yeah, I'm, yeah I might get some or so. Okay. Uh, I'll keep it. Okay. Don't roll on the... <laughs> yeah, I know. That's it. Three of the lackeys uh, move forward. Uh, One move from the skill or... No, this is their turn. Oh, okay. Three lackeys decide to move. Wait, 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 uh, wait. Dude, that's a that's wall. That's a wall. No, that was, uh, that's where the wall ends. Oh, yeah, we, we haven't actually gotten past this to see where the rest of the... Yeah, but the, so I mean, what, this is a wall here. So, hide in the corner behind it? He's going to... So, wait, sorry, sorry, this area. I'm just going to move him to here. Sorry. That's, that's sorry. I was going to say, he's just going to hide from us. <laughs> oh, no. Because it'd be pretty much useless there. <laughs> yeah, these two... Move all the way over here. It's all their turn at the same time? Uh, they rolled pretty damn low checks. So are they not going to uh, attack? Or oh, what? they're going to attack. And strangely enough, this guy uh, stays back pretty well. He uh, stays back and gets near his uh, boss. I mean, don't they all have to roll 
or uh, move, then attack, then take the next turn of move and attack instead of moving all at once. Oh, sorry, I was just gonna. Uh, okay. Uh, I mean, it doesn't matter since doesn't they don't matter. have combat advantage. I'm just, yeah, saying. I'm just saying. Yeah, I'm just. Okay. Since they don't have combat advantage, I was just making a. Okay. All right. So ninja-looking guy, I guess there is going to be attacking the paladin. You sure? Because he looks like he really wants to attack the warlord. <laughs> uh, he ha he. He doesn't it's have. Melee, a, right? Yeah. Okay. He takes out his rock and he's going to try to smash the paladin's head in. Improvised weapon minus two. Unless he's trained for it. He's pretty crazy, so I'll say yes. Yes, he's trained for it? Yeah, he's trained for it. He's trained for it. He's trained for improvised weapons. You can't train for it. Not yeah, trained. He's not trained well. for it. It's just, it's just he doesn't take a penalty from it. He used he's, to be able to. I know I was back in the day. It's NA, so uh, he doesn't have profession. He is prof he, it's not, you know. Oh, okay. Oh, right. Full point oh is. Yeah, he doesn't have profession for it, so he doesn't get a plus two or three on his attack rolls. But he can still hit you with the rock uh, without taking penalties. Oh, okay. All right, so he rolls a 12 plus 4. That is an 18 against me, and that misses. Hells, yeah. No, that goes stink. <laughs> it doesn't even hurt you. <laughs> See, it's AC, it's not so much it misses, it's just it does no damage. Okay, the one next to the war, uh, warlord decides to uh, take a smack at him with his rock. Okay, so 17 AC. He has a 3 plus 4. <laughs> okay. Slightly deranged from Crystal Madness, he proceeds four of you and hits the wrong one. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, but when you were saying that, I'm like, slightly deranged from Crystal Meth, and it totally made sense. <laughs> Madness, Meth. It's the same. Thing. Morphine, medics, same thing. Okay, so who goes what now? And <laughs> now it's your turn. Oh wait, you actually had a high uh, initiation. Yeah. Okay. Um. So it's my turn. I'm gonna try to see to beat the crap out of this guy. <laughs> Aww. In front of me. No warlock curse advantage. Um. My melee attack hits for 16. Or my bolstering strike. Sorry, I was. My melee, my bolstering strike hits for 16 plus uh, against him, and it hits. Does he die? And he falls down pretty hard. As in dead? Dead. And I get a plus 1 HP. Damn you. My plus 4. My sweet, sweet, precious plus 4. My turn then? I decided to hold my ground, yes. Uh, okay. You still have your shield out, right? Yeah, I haven't taken it off yet. I don't know, maybe you take it off to loot. Because it's encumbersome. Then again, you don't really loot that much. Ow. I am sorry that you hurt yourself. You should probably not do that anymore. Oh, 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 oh. Uh, I have pretty decent defenses, but still. Hey, so I heard you do. <laughs> yeah. That's. Alright, so. Okay, I am going to use my hmm, Viper Strike, Strength versus AC, against this dude. Because he's right. from me. I can't wait to lose this rock. Seventeen. Seventeen, and then plus modifier is plus three, so twenty. That hits. Yay! And he hit a minion. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that was purposely weakened so that we would survive. 1d8. 6. Oh, wait, uh, plus strength modifier. He's dead. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty sure he's dead. Okay. Okay. And next turn. He has a, uh, what you call it? Or cover, right? Yeah, I he's can't, covered. I can't hit him? He can't hit him. Okay. Uh, this guy continues to use his... Uh, Use his turn trying to fiddle with the lock still, and so instead of command, seeing uh, he's too busy fitting with the lock to actually look behind, so he pretty much gets his turn for the jaw bridge. It's Joe's turn. Okay, I would like to move here. I gain concealment, and I'd like to check my uh, passive perception from being in this. Um. Can I see the other walls now? Yes. Come on, stupid pen. <laughs> um, it's basic. 
this one actually is, this one actually goes out here, and then ends here, and ends to, uh, okay. yeah. this, this is a air, one of those, like, arrow slit thingies, like, out the window. Yeah. <sighs> yeah. Okay. I dropped. Wait, it's in the faucet. Oh. Wait, so it's an arrow slit thing on the ground floor? Yeah, it's more like a thing to look outside rather than... Yeah, okay. I get it. Okay. So, you see this guy right here? Uh, yeah, that guy looks pretty deranged and... Warlock curse. Okay. Also, um, uh, my prime shot works because of his position, right? Yes. Okay, good. I would like to use Dire Radiance again just because, you know, because I can yeah. finally get to use the skill. Damn it. All forward. Yeah, that's pretty... That's that one in a circle, that was kind of cool. 18. Plus two carries, he's dead. Yeah, he's dead. He, that's a... Yeah. Yeah. You guys are, uh... I also gain, uh, another plus four HP. Okay. Yeah. This yeah. guy's turn. He, uh... Turns to his, uh, boss and says, Uh, sir, when? the other guys have actually, uh, Might have a fallen. Problem. Uh, this guy responds and during he stops working on the causes him to stop working on the draw bridge and pay attention. Wait, so if talking is a free action but you can only do it during your turn, does that mean that guy skips his turn to talk to his boss? No, it's no, uh, it's, it's, it, it's his turn right now. It's this guy's turn. I know, but you're saying that his boss is responding. So. It's just a conversation. It's to a cutscene. Okay, a okay, quick okay. Time event. Okay, okay. I just Wait, want to clear. Press square now. All right. That's not square. <laughs> The bandit turns uh, turn, uh, turns back and moves two spaces toward uh, our warlock. Yay! He takes out his uh, he takes out a blackjack and uh, decides to. Uh, Is that to... also an improvised weapon? No, that's his, that's one of his. That's an actual weapon. No, it's it's part of the skill. He has, it's mostly like a mace. Okay, okay. It's just a yeah, it's a mace. It's a sock filled with lead. <laughs> Whatever, it's a prison mate. It's a prison weapon. <laughs> we'll call it a mace just for simplicity's sake. Okay. No. In his case, it's a sock filled with rocks because they run. And he has okay. Dr. Seuss madness. And he attacks the warlock. Oh, no. Uh, 16 versus AC. 14 AC. Is it? Oh, no. My temporary HP. And I get to use it for once. He gets a, uh, what you call it? And his damage does... Oh, wait, by the way, minus two, because I'm concealed. So it's, uh, what 14, you call it? Yeah. 14 versus 14, he still and gets... He still hits, he still hits. Okay. It's an equal. So then he does damage... Three. Oh, no. I am in so much He's, pain. You also are dazed until his next turn. Oh, no. And you know what uh, dazed does? No, not really. It's you okay. grant combat advantage to anyone attacking you. Aw. And you can, you can only take one action, whether it be minor, move, or standard. And he cannot flank. What? <laughs> Lame. So until the end of his next turn. I'm killing this bitch. Alright, where's my cards? Where is... oh. Okay. Um, uh, next turn is... Okay, all the, all the minions are down. Wait, minions. so if... You don't lose rolls for combat advantage if they have it over you, right? Huh? I don't get a minus a no. penalty for. But okay. you can only you can only move. Yeah. Or uh, yeah. That's fine. All right, the paladin. It's paladin's turn next. He moves up to the. Up to the uh, the prisoner over there and attempts to hit him with a uh, bolstering strike. Wait, do I not grant combat advantage for being? Okay, just you can't flank. And attempts to use bolstering strike. He misses. Pretty, pretty hard. <laughs> Ouch. I rolled an 8. Okay, um, let's see. It's the awesome bandit right? laughs at his attempts to hit him. Which is a free action, by the way. Yes. <laughs> yeah! Yeah! Sure, let's go with that. Awesome turn. <laughs> He's okay. very deranged. I move here, which provokes an opportunity attack. Wait, how does that provoke an opportunity attack? Because uh, I had to go... Here and then He's moving went. through me? Huh? Is he moving through us? Yeah. Or oh, yeah, he's okay. moving through here, but for some reason he wants it of here. He wants to go here. Yeah. So I can get closer to the boss, dude. 
Well, technically, he'd get one opportunity to hack either, either way. way. So. Yeah, yeah, sure enough. So. Okay. The only thing is now he's going to be right crammed for a boss gonna... to attack him. As the warlord uh, slips by the prisoner, he attempts to whack him with his club. 13. Uh, uh, 17 AC. Alright. Bastard. <laughs> Um, okay, I, I'm, I'm, I think it's one, no, that was a daily power, I don't want to do that. You probably shouldn't. Yeah, you. I know. You should I totally heal me. I'm at 35 HP out of 30. I think we can do this, yeah, boss. No. We'll have to modify it. Um. We'll see. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I don't have to modify it, I'm good. Should totally do a melee attack. <laughs> what? Okay, yeah, I'm just gonna do a Viper Strike, which is strength versus AC, so. Okay. Let's say. My dice. 12, and then combat advantage for flanking, that's 14, then plus modifiers, 3, that's 17. I just hit him. Totally. <laughs> you hit! <laughs> okay, and that is one weapon plus strength modifier. What that is you do? D8. Was that a regular medium? 8! Haha. 8 plus. Strength plus uh, 11. I hit for 11. Alright, you hit him with the strike and he feels. He feels the pain. But he, still please not, describe. He's not, he's not bloody. Okay, when you say feels the pain, okay, it's not so, very descriptive yeah. in the fact of what that means. Yeah, I have to. That the, means, yeah, he took damage. Okay, so if that. he shifts before the start of my next turn, it provokes an opportunity attack from an ally of my choice. Okay, so which one are you going to give him? Well, if he shifts, so if he chooses not to shift, it doesn't provoke one. Okay. Is it my turn? Because, you know... Um, it's actually, uh, the leader's turn. Oh, right. He's, uh... He stopped working on the thing after all his, uh... His, uh He's like, oh, shit, bot. Moves over here to flank up, uh... The... Yeah. <laughs> Warlord. Yeah. And... And it... Takes out his his mace and attempts to bludgeon him over the back of the head. Yep. Uh, Warlock takes eighteen damage. Fourteen, uh, 14 AC. Damage. Plus two. Oh, I've Plus got two. seventeen. So. Woo, barely. <laughs> yeah. Uh, he sh he's misses by his hair's breath. Hairs have breath. Yeah, it's an expression. Go. It's a horrible expression. My turn. Seth's turn. Wait, his. Seth's. Okay, so my turn, yes. I would like to roll because it doesn't mean anything because I'm using Warlock's Curse. Okay, well, you're cursed by the curse. Yeah, and I can only do one skill, so. There. Yeah. Okay, now, John, go kill him. I want more HP. <laughs> Alright, um. Actually, right now it's Bandit 2's turn. See, because that's the only thing I could do without provoking an opportunity attack. And shift. <laughs> then he'll just come up and hit me. Uh, I'm good. And save me from a combat advantage. Uh, All right. That's only if he doesn't choose to hit you. He turns toward the warlord, which obviously he'd rather hit you than me. And attempts to hit you with his mace. Wait, okay. you missed him, right? Huh? You missed him, right? What? When no, you it's his him? turn right now. At the no, no, no. When turn. the paladin attacked, he yeah, missed. I missed. Okay, so you didn't mark him. No. Nope. Okay, good. And he crits for nine damage. Sorry, right, what do you do? <laughs> Ow. So that's thirteen. Okay. Let's write it down. Yes, I am. And then be all like, "Ow, you hit me, you bastard!" <laughs> I flinched in pain, and then I turned to glower at him, promising him certain vengeance. Now actually, you're getting you into it. <laughs> actually, you didn't have to turn because you were already facing him from when you attacked him. No, I got flinched, so I kind of turned half. Eh. You're like. Yes, like I got slapped, and now I'm like, Urgh. Nice glowing. You can tell that these bandits aren't as well trained as the guards. Yeah, this is a lot easier. <laughs> I didn't notice this anyway, by any chance. You know how I can tell? I'm tanking. <laughs> well, trying to. No, he, yeah, but he's... But then Oswin goes out of position, and it's just <laughs> like, Papa! Alright, it's um, the paladin's turn. He, used to, he attempts to use his encounter power. Uh, smiting blow, or whatever. What is it called? Radiant Smite on the flank, you know, the flanked yes. prisoner. The weak one. He misses completely. Stop missing! 
I rolled a four. <laughs> wow. I want him dead. Okay, okay he's my turn. <laughs> my turn. Right? And it is the warlord's turn. Yes. Okay. So. I don't want to be flanked no more, so I shift one to here. Yep. And then I use an inspiring word on myself. So that's one healing surge for a quarter, so that's six. Plus a d6. Where's my d6? Right there. Six! Yay! Plus one for my um, racial yep. bonus. So that's 7 plus 6, so that's 13, so I'm actually back at full health, 25. Good job. And then I attack him with um, Viper Strike again. So... I'm going to put this over here. Yeah, okay. 19. 19. Yeah, that's I'm not strikes. Gonna... <laughs> that strikes. So that is one weapon damage, so that's a d8. Wait for it. Wait for it. Damn it, two. Um, Damn it. Right. Plus Not strength much. modifier, so that's for five. Then if he shifts again... So he has five damage? Yes, and then if he shifts again, he provokes an opportunity attack of my choice. He's still... He's... He's still looking not too bad. Damn it. <laughs> I gotta stop missing. Yeah, please. You know... Alright, he moves here to flank the warlord. <laughs> of course. You have to the easiest target. Uh, I'm you're the, the easiest. easiest. Actually, you are. You are, you have lower health than me. Well, lower health, yes, but. Yeah. Lower health, lower armor. Lower reflex. Yeah. What's your reflex? 14. Oh, okay. <laughs> Alright. Yeah, All right. so far I'm still the beefiest. Alright, and uh, this guy is gonna. And try to club you like he did Joe. Oh, uh, wait. Other guy. No, I mean, uh, this guy's going to use the same technique in order to try to club. Yeah, but I thought you were attacking with him. Yeah, this guy... This guy never clubbed me. Yeah, okay. He's Sorry. saying like the bandit did to you. Yeah, but he said he, which okay, refers so. to the guy yeah. who's... Okay. okay. Ha! Grammar Nazi do. Attack. Plus two. Eighteen. It's our armor count. Seventeen. That hits... And he hits for What did I say about damage. very high rolls? So I'm back down to 13. I didn't even have to edit it. <laughs> <laughs> and not only that, but dazed. I'm dazed. the target is dazed until the end of his next turn. Oh, okay. so if I shift, I don't get a combat you're, advantage. You're done. you're done already on your... Uh... I mean next. Yeah. No, what I mean is I'm going to shift back and blast him. Oh, okay, yeah. Because I want to kill that bitch. Okay, yeah, and uh... Can't exactly push that guy out of the way either, so... He can shift after using the hit, and he's gonna move over here. Ew. <laughs> and it's your turn. Okay. I'll, uh, wait. If I use Warlock Curse, who's that gonna affect? Wait, he shifted again? Uh, he can shift uh, after his, uh... After, if he lands a successful attack. Yeah, but, oh, I mean, that's wait, part of his ability? This guy's already cursed, so I'm gonna shift back one. And I'm going to use Warlock Curse as my minor action, which would affect him, right? Yeah. Okay, then I will use, um, which one's called it's... Uh, damn it, we're... Eldritch Blast on, uh, this guy. Okay. Who I don't have combat advantage on because somebody got dazed. <laughs> Kidding. Okay, uh, 15 plus 4. On what? On, uh, what you call it? Reflex still. That's a hit. Okay, so 1d10, this one, yeah, yes, this yes. one, uh, 3 plus 1d6, I do 4 damage plus 4, I do 8 damage. He is bloody. See, even with crappy rolls, I can still do stuff. Yes. <laughs> he is bloody. This is why I like passives, damn it. Alright. Okay, whose turn? Uh, it's that bandit you just hit. He's gonna. He had to come. Switch over here. He just Shift. shifted. Uh, yeah. Okay. Uh, he provokes an opportunity attack from you while he's shifting. Okay. Um, play whack a mole. It's... I roll four. 
<laughs> so why do I even bother? <laughs> Again, don't have him roll for us when he's uh, doing it as part of the team. As the DM, you can roll high for us. <laughs> All right, and yeah. he's going to. Uh, he already has combat advantage against you against you're his days. days. So I'm um, sorry, Elspin. You're gonna die. <laughs> he uh, attempts to hit you with his mace. Uh, five plus four plus two. Eleven. I've got seventeen. So. Minus two? Or no, it's no, not no. minus. I already added that, yeah. Okay. So eleven versus AC. Doesn't hit. And it misses. Hey. Live a little bit longer. Well, now that everyone's Right, ever wasted an opportunity to attack on you again. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. Seriously, I forget that he's ranged and he could have done that. And I was like, Urgh. You could have done it too. No, it has to be an ally, not me. Yeah. And I can't uh, opportunity attack with uh, ranged. You can't? Yeah, you can. Ranged basic attack. The blast counts as a... I thought you can only opportunity attack with melee. No, no and he, he grants... Uh, if, if he shifts, he can grant anyone an opportunity attack. That's yeah, but I thought opportunity attack was... You can do it with ranged, but it has, it's a different... Uh, if they move backwards without shifting against you, uh, running away... Okay. If they run away, then you can give a. But if they just move around you, you can't? No. Okay. They have to. They have, they have to be at least two spaces away from you. All right. But yeah. So next time, time I'll be sure to do without that. actually getting in contact with everyone. Yeah, it's supposed to be a running away thing. All right. <laughs> yeah, especially since you can use Eldritch Blast as a range. I blast. could have used Magic Missile, but I decided not to multi-class Wizard. That's silly. Yeah. Uh, if so, it, it, becomes stuff, an, it becomes an encounter ability. I still could have Magic Missile him from. Well, yeah, it's. The only reason I wanted that one is because it was 20 range, but <laughs> this shit's way too cramped yeah. to ever care about that. It's a small prison. Yeah. And half of it's been caved in already. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. Population right. 5. By the way, it's your turn. And Whose turn? It's the last one's. Why, you just moved? Oh, wait. Three, two. Oh, wait, never mind. Uh, uh, Dude, you have cards. You <laughs> go in order. <laughs> Yeah, okay. So, um, you're still, uh, dazed. Yeah, I'm gonna heal myself next round. I can't. Oh, wait, I can lay on hands you. Sweet. Uh, I'm gonna use lay on hands. Uh, it grants you a healing. You get to use the healing surge if you want to. Okay. And it's plus four as well. Nice. So, that's basically d6 plus five. No, not, no, it's it's just, not you don't roll, it's just it's six plus five, eleven. So yeah. This plus four, it's a ten. So yeah, but my racial number. Uh, that's just, oh yeah, here in the search value is plus one, yeah. Yeah. So you should just change that, change your number. It's a permanent plus one. <laughs> You're right, I should. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Makes calculations a little easier. Just make sure that you remember that you changed it, so yeah. it's not like uh -huh. you start adding one month of that. Okay. So thirteen um, plus what was that? Eleven. So you're, uh -oh. yeah, cool. so you're not dying. I know. I'm. I'm. This reminds me of when that's, you get healed. Do you get way, temp HP? Yeah, that's my healing surge. You, you you don't minus one on you. Oh. I use it my charge. Cool. Question. Yeah. If uh, you heal someone with you know, does it uh, can it go over max HP or just up to max? Up to max for healing. Up to max. Okay. No over healing. Yeah, otherwise I would have been 26. But. Okay, and I'll just use Bolstering Shrike. I swear, I feel like a wild tank. <laughs> um, the whole spike damage and then... Uh, no, tank. yeah, your helix are... I'm supposed to be doing that, but... Yeah. But somebody wanted to go at advance towards closer to the boss. <laughs> <laughs> you got an aggro range, man. I'm learning. Shh. Wait, what were okay. we discussing something about Bolstering putting uh, strike. squishies in back? Five. I miss terribly. I'm surprised you don't hit Oswin at this rate. <laughs> I think that would be a one. God, I don't know. Okay, Oswin, your turn. You're still dazed. Can yep. You move minor or? Nope. I'm a uh, inspiring word. Oh wait, no, never mind. Would... You don't have to. Use yeah. It. I know. I know. I know. And so you can either one action. Just pick your poison, good sir. Pick your poison. Yeah, they changed the 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 this uh, classes like in the monster vault. Yeah. Uh, they made it a reliable skill instead, of, like the the dazing hit. Yeah. Since it's an encounter ability of a monster. Oh. Uh, 
Yeah, they they also made no longer immortal zombies. Infinite response. Those are cool yeah. though. You would never win an encounter if you got with them. <laughs> I Unless would. you did enough damage to instantly destroy them. Trust me, I would benefit from that a lot. Hell, I'd keep one alive just so I could have like plus a thousand HP. <laughs> It'd be like, okay, curse, kill, curse, kill, curse, kill, curse, kill. Yes, and then we'd all be dead and we'd be the last one alive in the party. No, we'd leave that zombie alive for or last. And <laughs> we'd just be like... You've been using every turn to kill the zombie, though. Yes, but you guys kill everyone else, and we kill the zombie last. My equipment. We need your help to kill everyone. You're we would kill the damage. zombie last. Yeah, but you right revives every one of his turns. Exactly. I roll for the revive, right? Exactly. Which I will. Yeah. So uh, we I would bring him. Yeah, I, I really do can't last. stand that guy anymore. So I'm so going to use my it. encounter power, Warlord's favor, which is strength versus AC. So. Really? 12. 12 plus f 3. Versus AC? Yeah, wait, 12 plus 3, so that's 15 plus proficiency, so that's 18. You hit. Cool. How much damage do you do now? Um, It's two weapons, so 2d8 two. plus strength modifier. So he rolls. 7, Seven two. 2, that's 9 plus 3, so 11. Wait, that's, that's 12, buddy. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I'm sorry. Yeah, it looks like even just blowing on him might cause him to die at this point. Yeah, and then it says one ally, <laughs> within, one ally within five squares of you gains a plus two power bonus to attack rolls against the target until the end of your next turn. And I designate you so you don't miss. Hopefully. <laughs> I blame Joe's dice. It, doesn't hate, it hates me so much. I told you. Oh, wait, no. So like sorry. Promoted. Tactical presence. So the bonus to attack rolls that you grant equals one plus your intelligence modifier, so it's actually plus three to attack rolls. Okay, yeah, plus three versus three. I'll let you take them out then. Plus combat advantage, so yeah. that's plus five. So even if you roll a five, you might have it. Well, no, but. Well, you have combat advantage now, right? Uh, yeah. Not, oh, um, when it comes to my turn, yeah. Yeah. And so the, the bandit right now is. Yeah. He still has combat advantage against Because the, Oswin still dazed until the bandit's next turn. Yeah, right. And the bandit will take advantage of that and try to stab you with his... Um, Do I have to roll? Yeah, I was like, where's my dice? Oh, it's in the corner. No. Alright, he's gonna hit, try to hit you with his mace. Uh, 25 to AC. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm hit. Ouch. And... Let's see, how much is it doing? Is the daze thing once in a counter? Once in a counter. Okay, I was going to say, if he's going to... Wait. If I'm a, I'm right, it's the other guy who dazed, right? The leader who dazed him? Yeah, but the bandit already That's 10 damage. <laughs> <laughs> You're fucking squishy, man. 14. Well, the leader has an ability that he gets a d6 every time for, for against combat advantages. Wait, the leader went, or the... Wait. Okay. Okay. The leader, if, if he attacks something that gives combat advantage, he gets a extra what, d6 damage. Yeah, okay. but that's not the bandit. The leader, the leader is attacking. It's you said it was a bandit. Yeah, he. Uh, they're both, okay. yeah, they're both bandit. Oh, they're not bandits either. They're it's like just prisoners and something. He's just calling it the bandit because you know. That's how I wrote that's down. That's I liked your stupid nicknames for them better. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's more easily differentiable. I can call them by their model. <laughs> Bottle number fifty. Let's, let's go, uh, go fifty. So yeah, after that he he, was, he gains the ability to shift, and he is going to shift this way. Right for the fist. Nice. Okay, and next is Joe. Okay, I will move here, procking Shadow Walk. I would like to use. Wait, it's uh, your turn after mine, right? After the no, it's bandit. It's bandit two. Uh, the should the, I yeah. take him out? We'll just call him the Koopa. Let's call him the Koopa. All right, it's Koopa's turn next. He's uh, looking pretty weak, man. He can. Yeah, but I don't need to do the finishing blow. I, he's already cursed. I mean, should I or should I do my massive damage on the other guy in front? I'd say do the leader, please, because otherwise that's my benefit I gave to him to actually hit the stupid bandit won't fall through. And that, he that's what I was thinking. The bandit gets an attack next turn, though. 
I think looks pretty I desperate. could survive it. <laughs> he looks pretty desperate. I think I could survive it. I would personally take his advice on that, but, you know, if you're sure you can survive it, I'm, I'm going to go attack the other guy. Let's yeah, see. <laughs> Wait, is, uh... Since I can't be tased again, I'm just going to run far away. No, I'll just shift. Shift. Okay, I'm going to use Dire Radiance on the leader, so that if he tries to chase after Oswin next turn by moving, that he'll take the additional damage. Is shifting as moving? Uh, I believe so. Okay. It's just if they move nearer towards you on their next turn. Okay. So, 16. Uh, plus versus... Four. Uh, 4. It hits. I do uh, 1d6 for this, and then another for a uh, curse. Okay. 4 plus 6, so Ten. 10 plus 4, so 14. 14, 14 nice. damage to leader. Nice. I am DPS, number 1. <laughs> Yes, yes you are. I feel special. Right. Also, why don't you kill them so I can get more HP? Is I like that skill, by the way. It lets me tank. <laughs> Seriously, I've not dropped under 30 HP this entire game. In a desperate act in his, in his dying breaths, he tries to take the take down the warlock. Uh, warlord. Oh, warlord, sorry. It's, it's, it's a funny name. Warrior, warlord, warlock. It's all this. <laughs> Alright. This is why you changed the paladin, huh? And he criticaled you for 9 damage. Told you I'd survive it. <laughs> he also told you to get, you know, hurt. Yeah, I said it's well, I knew I was going to get hurt. And it's my turn. Uh, yes. So mm. please take out the bandit and give me 4 HP. <laughs> I'm going to try to bolstering strike the the very, 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 very weakened bandit guy. And you have combat advantage. Don't forget. Yeah. Com you have combat advantage. And What's three? You've got plus three. <laughs> you even look at the dice. I'm not, not, I'm not kidding. I rolled the three. Uh, he misses, by the Wait, way. Three plus... Remember, he buffed three you plus too. Five, so three plus five. Three plus five, eight. Plus my weapon equals four. So that's twelve. 12. I still miss. <laughs> <laughs> Every possible <laughs> answer. <laughs> you still manage to screw This up. is why he says I should have finished him off. <laughs> I'm just saying. Okay. So All right. I'm going to put a good Well, you, you could whack him in the shift, right? Because days is over. Um, oh, but he wants to heal, right? I'm going to give you another lay on hands. I have a, no, don't. Don't bother. Why not? Because I have a plan. <laughs> I don't like this. I'm afraid. You sure? It's a minor action for me. Okay, if you want. All right, I'll just. How many your... healing action or healing surges do you have left? God damn. Uh, I'm at four now. <laughs> Considering you had like twelve at the beginning. So how much was it for? This is two battles. This is why I only made two or three. Seven plus four. Uh, seven plus four. Yes, eleven. So eleven. Woo! You barely made it out of that one. <laughs> Sixteen. And just to press, uh, uh, give on the pressure. I'm going to. Uh, oh, he's down. Oh wait, no, he's not. All right, Fred, I missed. <laughs> um, I'm just gonna stay where I am, just to give combat advantage. Yeah. So, do you want to try to take him out, or you should try and take him out? Yeah, I just want to conserve one thing first. <laughs> just melee attack really? and, and no, shift no, away. I've got more idea. No, I'm not gonna bother shifting. Well, that depends if I hit the guy or not. I'm gonna do Viper Strike again, so that's Strength versus AC. Five plus three is eight. eight. Plus two for combat advantage is ten. Plus modifier plus is thirteen. Do I hit? I'm sorry, you don't no. hit. Okay. No, I'm sorry, but that's what he got last time too. So no, he got twelve. I was hoping it was a one difference thing. <laughs> okay. Okay, so we know he has at least fourteen armor. Okay. In that case, I shift here. Good plan. And I uh, inspiring word myself for that's minor action, right? Yeah, it's minor. <laughs> I'm, so, I'm sorry, I rolled this. Is. That's seven plus a d six. Uh, we're still, we're still seven an unmodified uh, encounter, so seven plus se wait no seven plus four is. 
12. So, yeah, I'm back up to full HP. Again. <laughs> like I said, I feel like a WoW tank right now. You don't have much HP to begin no, with. No, you're like a pally tank. You're healing yourself while the enemy's beating on you. Uh, yeah. After a taunt. Yeah, and I've got three shirts. Yeah, I haven't, got a, I haven't landed a single hit on this entire encounter, by the way. I noticed. Well, actually, I hit one. Hit the, hit the, hit the minion. <laughs> <laughs> a lot uh, of the minions. You're such a good. You're such. You're so helpful. Nice for tanking. Us. This All is right. why I went beefy class, by the way. I knew this would happen. So All right. Beefy. The bandit moves over to the paladin. Then he takes damage. Oh, thank God. Yeah. Takes 1d6. Okay. From uh, Dire Radiance, because okay. he's closer to me now. Six. Cool, he's bloody. Pl wait, uh, plus constitution, so uh, ten altogether. Plus okay. four. He is bloody. <laughs> All right. Um, he attempts to hit the paladin with his mace. Misses. <laughs> yeah. So. This is this dice is just blowing them low numbers. <laughs> You're welcome. That's why we give it to you as the DM. Okay. Oh. It's uh. Except it always. Fails. I got two criticals on him, two twenty so far. <laughs> well, we know the dice isn't loaded, <laughs> or is it? All right, it's your turn. What? No, those are full criticals. Me? Yeah. You're lucky they're the regular bandit. The other guy would have done a critical hit for what you call it, seventeen. God damn. He gets bonus on criticals. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, yeah. They're both bloody, right? Yes. The other uh, fisty is pretty bloody, but. Uh, Still looks in good shape. The other guy still is going in and out of consciousness. Wow. Okay, so... <laughs> I'm going to, uh, move over here so I get concealment. And I'm going to use Diabolic Grasp. It's, a uh, Constitution versus Fortitude. Seven plus four. On uh, which one? Which one are you attacking? The... Uh, leader guy, sorry. Uh, on constitute and uh, um, fort. fortitude. Yeah. Uh, how much is that? Uh, Seven plus four is eleven. That misses. Okay. And what, is it AOE or? Uh, no, that's my push. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah. Okay, and I was trying to get the combat advantage off of you and slam him against the wall. Bandit two. Sorry. That's up. <laughs> Please use this. <laughs> <laughs> Watch, it doesn't help. <laughs> Alright, he attempts to uh, club the uh, club the paladin in the face with his mace. Wait, why do you want him to use the better dice on <laughs> Wait, I thought it was his turn. No, this is a bandit. Nine plus... He actually misses. He he you attacks. got him a whole nine. You trying to kill him? <laughs> Two killing bastards. Okay, it's my turn. I'm going to try to kill that bandit who's just at you know, death's door. Good idea. And this is! <laughs> Your dice! <laughs> See, it's not the dice, it's, it's him. him. <laughs> hey, I shake it in the hand and everything, okay? <laughs> yeah, you probably did what else when did cradle back and forth. And no, I go like died. this. I go like this. Yeah, that yeah, doesn't it necessarily... I, I watched it, it kind of hit and it was like spinning this way. <laughs> like I knew it was four before it hit. Well, good try. You attempted to do stuff. <sighs> We're having that. Oh, by the way, huh? I'm gonna shift over this way. Don't have that encounter anymore. All right, and it's awesome, turn. Okay, okay, okay. I move here. Okay, you're gonna try to finish this guy off, huh? Hey, yes. frame shot. It would actually have you know. Yeah. And now uh, I attack. Eight. Eight plus three plus three plus three. So eight plus six, fourteen. 8 plus 6, 14. That misses. Wow. We've okay, so he has at least 15 armor. <laughs> yes. We're finding this out. I mean, first he rolled a 12. That missed. So I rolled a 13, and that missed. And then I rolled a 14, and that missed. What the hell? Fisty! I guess that's up to the plate. Yay. I'm screwed. Oh, wait, no, Somebody kill someone so I can gain HP. I've got full <laughs> HP. So I might live through this. 
Unless he crits. Unless with Jones lucky will. Well, with the combat advantage, he gets an extra d6 for damage. Fuck. <laughs> so yes. let's see. Uh, he's gonna try to strike Didn't you. Nice knowing you. Where's, where's my? Mm. I can't res. I'm gonna, well, you just have to heal. Just use the heal skill. You can. I have no heal skill. And I do, but I'll be dead. <laughs> yeah, but you can d15. It's a d15 check. It's a dc15. I'm gonna make you worse <laughs> if I try to. Right, heal. Right, I'm gonna try to. Uh, Right here, they're mad. The band's gonna try to hit us when. The nice knowing you. Five. <laughs> oh uh, my god. <laughs> yeah, that's a that would be one d eight, one d twelve plus two damage. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty sure you would have died. <laughs> he used his other luck low. So yes. Oh well, no, I would have stepped up to the blow. Uh, stepped up to the plate. So what are you gonna try to do? Me? Yeah. Yeah, you know, I'm just gonna Eldritch Blast from here. Just Seventeen. Uh, who? The that store guy? Yeah. <laughs> he, it's uh, just like... <laughs> this is how he falls. Yeah. And I gain 4 HP. Yeah, he only had one health. Yeah. I, <laughs> I kind of figured that with your description. For like four or five rounds. <laughs> it's the one luckiest bandit ever. That's because we weren't focusing him. We're just like, ah, eh, someone else will take care of it. Four or five. No, but then we started trying to focus him. Well, four or five. <laughs> okay, my turn. Let's go finish this bastard off. I'm gonna. Oops. I'm at 39 HP, damn it. That's a sign we're gonna win this. Wait. We gotta survive. Uh, One, two, three, four. I will survive. Alright! Combat advantage, yay! Don't roll a five. What other skills do I have left? Hey, can I use a shooter book? Or a player's handbook? I forgot I had another Ser counter ability. <laughs> Seriously, guys. Cards. Really great idea. I had none. Yeah, none. Fake it! You have note paper. Cut them up! Black like Briggles! It works. I mean, hell, look at our freaking D or DM board. It's freaking printouts on a water bottle box cut out. True, true. <laughs> this is the ghetto D&D. &D. We're awesome. Alright, I'm gonna use Divine Strength as my minor action, which I can uh, add my Strength modifier to my next attack. Okay, and guess what? I'm at max healing surges. I'm still at 39 HP. And yeah, I, 30. We're putting you in front next time. I'm I've been go trying with, to go in front. They still I'm gonna go. go with, I'm gonna try and when to they do hit me, strike him. And when they do hit me, it doesn't hurt much. And I'm still at my uh, critical. <laughs> oh hell, zero. Finally! Oh my god! Wow, good job. He's dead, right? Just, just, um, yeah. With max damage. Well, yeah. eight Ow. plus. 8 plus 4, that's uh, 12, three, the pl 12 plus 3, 15. He falls! Yeah, finally. Hey, hey, hey. He fell down. Hey, I, I came out on the clinch, man. <laughs> this looks like a tic tac toe board that's gone I was really say, wrong. We should, try to, we should try to play tic tac toe. Alright, so, so you guys, what do you guys want to do? Uh, perception check to see, uh, to observe the battlefield. Alright, um... Before, whatchamacallit, we end combat. Or we make me lose all my temporary HP. Which, incidentally, just went up by four. So I'm at 43. The... The halls right now... Wait, I have to... Okay. Roll this to make sure I don't get higher. Nine, nope. That was 15. going off your uh, yeah, passive. passive. I'm just going to play passive these days. No yeah. offense. I just want to make sure that I'm getting the most out of my perception. Basically, the halls... As the final bandit falls, uh, the halls actually grow eerily quiet. Um, as you as you look at the the drawbridge, he seemed like he got no luck out of it. The mechanism is strong, made out of really really powerful steel, and it seems like the only way to open this drawbridge is gonna be with the actual thing that opens the drawbridge. You mean like a key? A drawbridge is not opened by a key. It's opened by a lever. Or, or, a, or a spinny thingy of some sort. Also, there's the, still the rope, that... Uh... The, rope, uh, the rope that controls the drawbridge, or the chain, is uh, goes up into the ceiling. It looks like it goes up to the upper floors. Okay. And that's about it. The crystal's still there, emanating glows and such. Can we loot stuff? Yes. And yes, you can loot. Wait, experience first. Uh, let me do the, the... Oh, my temporary HP. I'm back down to 30. Mm -hmm. Only it's stacked. Any minions over there? so overpowered. 
Uh, one, two, three, four, five. Did the bandit dude five. count as a f minion? No, those, he was a full on. Uh, oh, then uh, four. Four. Four, four, four minions and uh, two others. Leader and the. 350 EXP. Yay. So that's basically 750. Yay, we're almost level two. We still have to end the encounter before. Or the. The. Yeah. Alright. So, spend healing surges as, as well. <laughs> healing surges, like I need that. I'm full HP, so I'm good. Yeah, I'm pretty, I'm pretty close to there anyway, so I didn't take a hit. Okay, looting time. What is available? Alright, let me get the thing. The three minions. Uh, Four minions. No, three. That's, uh, I told you the two dudes Four. were... Uh, oh, wait. One, two, three. Four, Four of these guys. Oh, never mind. Then add it up to... Uh, 400? Uh, no, it's a... Uh, uh, 270, or 275. 775. Yeah. It's 25 for level 1 minions. Uh, and, okay, the... The rabble... The... the, 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 the hold on, sorry. Are you having a stroke? No, the, um... Okay, the minions, good. they're carrying around typical minion gear. They Cloth just escaped from the sticks. thing. Yeah, no, they're, no, with, rocks. they're uh, in tattered prisoner garbs and carrying around sticks. Would that count as basic cloth armor or just rags? Plus zero cloth armor, yeah. How much does it sell for? Not a lot. How much does it weigh? Five. Man, use that first. Actually, no, I will loot actually, that. It's like, actually, one, I think, just because it's guards and no shoes and such. Actually, I will loot that if I can, because okay, I, I could attach that to sticks to make torches. Okay. No, okay. How uh, many? Four? Unless uh, you guys four want some? Uh, four uh, prisoner guards. Can I have a second index card, please? No. I want to not... Uh, just one. Okay. Four prisoner guards and four sticks. The... What you call it? The... The two uh, stronger enemies, uh, Fisty and Slashy over there, um, they were carrying around le uh, leather armor, the mace, and a handful of throwing daggers. I'll take one leather armor unless no one wants any, both of them. Do you want a leather armor? Eh, I'm good with mine. I'll take the daggers. Okay, okay I'll take the leather armors. How much do they weigh each? Uh, it should be in the player's guide. Wait, fifteen pounds. So two, you said. So yep. that's Honestly, in the guide itself, it said you really don't need to calculate exactly how much weight you have because yeah. it's usually not an issue. Usually, uh, it's yeah. Then gross. again, we do like to do everything. Yes, My regardless of. It. <laughs> All right, so uh, the paladin says. So 30. All right, looks like we need to head up in order to lower this drawbridge. I would like to loot one of the crystals. Okay, you take a minus four on all attack rolls. Okay. You take a minus four on all attack rolls, and also you uh, give minus four to anyone within burst one of you. That just means adjacent, right? Adjacent, or yes. Two. That's not wearing a crystal. Uh, that's not wearing a crystal necklace. So wait, wait, you said burst four. Burst one. Oh, okay. Yeah, the strategy here is that you're going to pick up a rock and throw it at the guys and feeble them. That's what I was thinking. <laughs> That's why I wanted to yeah. pick up one now, but I figured, uh, eh, we're good. Damn it! <laughs> it actually would have worked better. Yeah. I think it would have enfeebled us too, but, uh... Yeah, that's one problem. We're all melee, though. Well, you're not, but... You have a throw distance of like five, right? Ten. Ten. I have a sling. Ah. <laughs> I'll freaking chuck him at the head. Okay, I'm gonna call it the Doom Crystal. Okay. Wait, if I stack crystals, do I get it's just added debuff? You feel that your body cannot withstand the the, the force of more than one crystal. It's already sucking out a lot of your strength. Okay. Also, you might want. Uh, I was gonna add. No. Also, I'm gonna it's supposed to, it's supposed to give ship. a minus four for all rolls, but including attack, defense, and all that crap. Yeah. And damage. And uh, perception. And no, it's supposed to be just checks and rolls, like the da and like da uh, damage minus four. Okay. For anyone not wearing a crystal necklace. Okay. 
Yeah, I was going to use that to throw out the enemies to enfeeble them, so... Except, of course, I didn't do it there. Because I figured, well, we're already fighting. Alright, so, uh... I s the paladin suggests go up the stairs. I want to check over there. Okay. You look out of the countryside, um... Roll. Reception. Pass of a 15, please. <laughs> <laughs> I was about to say, yeah, yeah, yeah that's a window. <laughs> You know, like, I'd be like, there's like, a wall here. You notice it is dark outside. <laughs> uh, it's actually, uh, the sun, it's sun seems to be... <laughs> that sure is blue. Or is it green? I can't tell. The sun uh, seems to be shining at a... Or a falling, falling down. Uh, see, so it's a nice orangey hue outside. The forest is, you know, nice and light, lively. And a big contrast to the big dungeon-y feeling that you're getting inside this prison. You all should pick up a rock. No, that just creates more of a minefield for us to melee to navigate through. Not if you do it right. How's right? <laughs> yeah, I'll not pick up a rock. I don't. Fine. I'll be the only one trying to do something tactical and staying away from you guys. Uh... Okay. Wait, so if I'm next to an enemy that doesn't have the thing, it affects them too, right? Yeah. Okay. Minus four, uh, yeah. Four Does it have four. minus four speed, too? No. Okay, so just rolls? I was, uh, my original thing was supposed to be mad and, like, minus two speed or something like that. Yeah. So you could kind of be, you'd also, you're also staying away from us because we don't want the crystal effects around you. <laughs> like I said, ten range. Okay. Actually, it's like... 1020, I think. Getting that map, I'm going to finish it up, this up. Alright, here. I'm going to check that real quick. Range of Slain. Not bad for the first there, uh, our first game. Not the dog. Yeah, mm -hmm. not bad. Still doing pretty well. Uh, I need to stand up for that. Considering, yes. Yes, we are. Uh, yeah, it's only been three hours. <laughs> only. Ugh. Let's see, equipment, too dead. Should still totally do a podcast. Yes, totally should. Oh, Swim, you'd like that. You'd be famous, okay, and popular, me... and people would all know our crappy roles so they wouldn't judge us. Or no, Swim goes away, I'm going to start moving the map. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, the wall only goes so high. So yeah, 10-20 uh, range. Huh? Uh, for Sling. Ah. 10 okay. base, 20 long. Alright. Does that mean up to 20? Up or to like 19 and below is fine, but... Uh, or is 10, 20, 10 is a short 10. range, means that you get the full uh, effect of their... So uh, anything over 10 is... You get a minus 2. Okay. So you get a minus 6 if you're going to try to launch it that far. <laughs> also, depending on the roll, it's going to determine where the <laughs> stone's going to land. <laughs> you roll a 1, it lands right in front of you. On your cell. And then we all die. Personally. And then we all get weekend. Uh, no, because I'm still going to stay behind you guys. Yeah. That's the plan, at least. Unless you... <laughs> <laughs> yes, it only Remember, this is great. a pretty debilitating uh, crystal. It's meant to suppress an entire prison. <laughs> Stand uh, to the side, either side of me. Like, one in front, though, so you don't get the adjacent. So why, would that debilitating effect affect this throw, too? Yes, actually. I knew that part. So you'd have a range of like what six? No, he can no. I launch. I still get ten. It's unless just he like critical. Unless the minus it puts failure. in. A, yeah, crit it goes below one, mm -hmm. in which it's a critical failure. And with the minus six in his rolls, I don't know. Shit. <laughs> no minus six. My, oh yeah, minus, minus, minus yeah. Just yeah. minus four. So yeah. yeah. Yeah, I'm not gonna like try and bob it on another side of the other page of the map. We can't even see that far. The maps aren't that big. Yeah, I don't know. I wasn't expecting it to rain, though. Actually, I'm going to stand right here, so if any of you want by, you're just going to be like, ah, oh, fuck, we can. Just because I can. Okay, by the way. I, I won't do that to you guys. I'll stand over here. So you said we're not allowed to. Skin and gut uh, humanoid. 
or humans, right? Not when I'm here. Okay, fine. <laughs> My guy's getting mighty hungry, you know. You have ten days worth of rations. Yeah, but it's quite honestly, how much it's time only has passed. Like half an hour. <laughs> it's only trail mix. I need meat. You're trying to escape a building that's getting hit by earthquakes and such. I love this. We spent three hours to get half an hour of in-game time. It's like Damn. making a video game, only better. In reverse. Uh, no, making a video game, you spend three hours, you made Oh, no, I meant like, like two minutes. game time passing through a little the game. Oh. You know, usually it's faster than, you know. Yeah, you get, like, day when you travel or something, but when you're in constant combat, no, because think about it this way. Each round of everyone moving once is about six seconds. Who's oh. moving in front in this uh, area? Okay, I just have to do because... Um, yeah, I'm lugging behind so that I can uh, sling the rock. Use the artillery. Not to mention, if I keep one of the rocks with me, I can carry it into town if we ever get out of this place. And then I'll have a magic item. It's like, this is totally awesome, you want it. <laughs> it debilitates you for having it. You know what? It's like, I tried to bluff this merchant. Actually, I have to be carrying this all around. If I can, yes. Uh. Dude, it's a magical item. How often am I going to find magical items? Besides once in the game. It's like that weakness is a sign of you growing powerful. The reason why you feel weak is because you're not accustomed to your new strength, but your body knows it. Exactly. And see, I have seven blood, so... <laughs> you're gonna try to sell it? <laughs> <laughs> yes. How much would that be worth? I don't know, but it, both you and the vendor, I think, are gonna get a minus roll on that. <laughs> <laughs> see, that's how it uh, balances that's, out. Actually, I think he's gonna step back while you press it on the table. I'll put it on the table, and I'll step back, and he'll be like, what's this? No, because he feels, the moment that you get near something, they feel like they're getting haunted by a thousand goats. It's a very cursed item. I don't deal with that. <laughs> See, that doesn't, that shouldn't really affect my character. You know, he, he has to deal with the fucking demon growing out the side of his back. He's just like, hey, want some pizza? Nah, I'm good. Okay, I'm gonna eat this person. No, don't do that, the paladin will get pissed. But I'm hungry. By the way, that's why I um, harvest stuff. All right. I'm going to call him Frankie. So you guys head up the stairs, right? If you want. All right. You turn Formation your of entering stairs. And... I'm at least a cell behind you guys. Okay. Yeah, I'm yeah. sorry, but I, I know that yeah. my burden should be mine alone. And that you guys would be mad and pissed if I was like, hey guys, I'm going to be right next to you. It's like, quick, guard me uh, the precious uh, treasure. <laughs> yeah. So pretty. Escort me. 